We're learning more about what happened overnight at the Florida Institute of Technology, or Florida Tech as it's called. Police say that they shot a student chasing others with a knife, even attacking them. One of the officers who opened fire was injured. News 6's Brian Didlake is in Melbourne tonight digging for more information on this. Now the campus is open and students have been walking around as normal, but for some, Friday night's incident left a scary stain in their minds. Melbourne police say that this was all an isolated incident, but for some students, they are calling for more answers. From like what the students know and from what the police department knows and what the news knows so far is like, they're all like conflicting stories. Uh, Cody is a freshman living in Roberts Hall at Florida Institute of Technology. He told me about his last name, but tells me he wants answers after police say a student, 18 year old Ahaji So attacked other students with a knife. So was shot and killed by a Melbourne police officer after officials say so lunged at the officer. Cody claims before all of this, there was little communication from campus security. And the only reason really like anyone on Roberts Hall found out there was a lockdown um, was after I walked by the RA's office and he told me it was like on lockdown and to go to my room. As Cody made his way back to his room, he says he saw this. And then like in our second floor, like commons area, the lobby, there is like blood all over the floor. There was blood on the doorways, um, on the door handles, on the like ID scanner, there was blood. Um, but he didn't live in Roberts Hall, so he wasn't able to actually like get in any of the doors. They were all locked. Uh, there are no reports from police of a student being seriously injured. It's still unclear how many or if any students were injured. But police say one officer was hurt during the confrontation. Students like Dell Sanford say this incident was a scary reminder to be mindful of your surroundings. So I'm from Michigan and of course there was the school shooting um, recently and so that was we were all assuming the worst. Sanford and Cody say this incident will not deter them from going to classes next week, but Sanford advises his classmates to be cautious. Stay safe and be with friends. You know, the, the best thing to do is be with people who, uh, who care for you and They'll help you make, make you feel better. And now during our interview with Cody, we did ask him if he knew so before this incident and he had this to say. I mean, I've talked to him sometimes, but he was just, you know, a normal kid. Um, he, but, never showed, he, he never showed any signs that he might do something like this? No, no, no signs at all. He was, I mean, he was a chill dude who, you know, I would play basketball with sometimes. And there has been no news of any cancellation of classes next week. This incident is still under investigation and once more information we'll get back to you. But for now, we are in Melbourne. Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6.